you're bloody talking I don't to know what talking you. About. You do not know what you're talking about. I read an article and they shunned you real over it. And if you don't want to stop me, I'll oh, come ahead, you bloody, bloody sheep. Come ahead. You wee bloody sheep. You bloody sheep. I'll fucking get my hands in you, pal. Then you get away with it, you bloody no. Come on, you Give me the bloody thing. Come ahead. Hey. Hey, listen, listen, you wee tolly. I'm right. You're right, you bam. You're talking shite. <laughs> I'm bloody right. And if you say that one mere time, I'm going to ram this right into you. <sighs> oh, why? You're a big man, ain't you? And you've got a bottle of woodpeck and a fish slice. <laughs> well, come ahead, boy, because I've got a blade tea. There you are. <laughs> Come on, do you want a square go away? Hey, hey, look, there's no argument about it. Mother Teresa of Calcutta is a much better person than St. Francis of Assisi ever was. Your ass. <laughs> Aye, for a woman maybe. But then it takes one to know one, didn't it? Hey, look, I'm bloody telling you. <laughs> St. Francis of Assisi, hey, it wasn't fit to lace the boots of Mother Teresa, there you are. <sighs> but that's where I've got you. Because Francis of Assisi never wore boots. He gave his boots away to the poor. Oh, St. Francis gave his boots to the poor. What a bastard. <laughs> I mean, he wore dirty big hobnails. Hey, did he give them off free school dinner tickets and all, just to rub it in that they were scum? No, he never. He gave them good boots. He gave them Doc Martens. Yeah, Doc Martens. Oh, Doc Martens, Doc Martens. Well, Mother Teresa, do you know what she gave the poor? She gave the poor Reeboks. <laughs> Reebok! Aye, aye, we dirty, pure, big, gallish tongues. There you are. Oh, look, we'll just have to ask my da to settle this right. Hey, we can't ask my da, can we? I mean, my dad's still out in the hand, Dan. It's no back for the World Cup. <laughs> well, that's not my fault, is it? Aye, well, I never got to go with him. You're the one that was with him. Well, I told you, didn't I? When we get as far as Govan Cross, right, the big swine says to me, now look, Bernie, son, you get away him. Mammy's got some ice cream in the oven for you. <laughs> then I turns in the big swine's legging up to the ants club to get bluttered. Aye, aye, well, we'll just have to ask my mom about it, won't we? Right, I'll ask her. Come on in, your tube. Swine. <laughs> <laughs> Why no, eh? There right, go then. Ask her well. I will ask her. Uh, hey, Ma, who was a better person, right? St. <laughs> Francis of Assisi or Mother Teresa of Calcutta? I've no idea. I'll write an ass show by Sam. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, sit in your bloody empties, will you? And don't move. All right, all right. And give me back my utensils. Look at that. They're out my wedding cutlery. Hell, men me, Ella. Hell, bloody men me. So, you were saying that you bumped into James in the street? Aye. I said, what are you doing sniffing about these parts, Cotter? We've split up. And what did he say? He says, I was just passing, Ella. <laughs> so, I thought I might just drop in. Oh, and what did you say? I says, they want to put the words in your tombstone, Cotter. <laughs> Dead gallus like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? Well, what could he say? He just looked. Oh, man. Don't look a spineless whinging that Cotter thinks passes for wounded nobility. Oh, <laughs> you're terrible, so you are, Ella. <laughs> Believe you me, Mary, it's the only way to treat them. Otherwise, they take a lenny. I wish somebody would take a lenny of her and forget to bring her back. <laughs> hey, what are you saying? You two have got too bloody much to say for yourselves. Go on, Ella. Aye, so then he says, Oh, take me back, Ella. I can't stand living in my own. I even sleep with a light on, you know. Oh, and what did you say? I says, here's 50 pence for the electric meter. <laughs> 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 Have a happy hour in me. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, 
Where are you going on a dress dump like that? I says, that's my business. Aye, and business must be booming, judging by the height of that kilt. You seen it? <laughs> Aye, it must be Miss Wet, surgical stocking night of the Savoy, eh? <laughs> Is that you being lippy again? I'm allowed to be lippy. I'm disturbed. <laughs> aye, aye, look, there he's sitting in guilds in it on the wall. That's no a city in guilds. That's a psychologist report. See you two. He's are just like your da. But don't you speak all the deed? Aye, aye, just cos he dumped you, you get pissed and you take it out on us. I resent that. Oh, aye, oh, aye, a man. A man can get and get blittered every night of the week going. He's a rare tear, isn't he? But a woman, a woman has one wee sherry, one wee a pair of teeth, Ella. Oh, and she's nothing but a dirty whore and a slut. <laughs> That's it. I have never called you anything of the sort. Ah, don't spoil my indignation for me. I mean, can you not see that I'm pissed? <laughs> see, Wayne's Ella. She wins. Aye. I'm glad that Cot and me never had any. On reflection. Really? But did you never fancy them? No, I fancied them. Just know we caught her, that's so. Oh. <laughs> See, when you've married the wrong man, it kind of compounds the offence to have his offspring hanging for your nipple sort of style. <laughs> Anyway, there's a lot more baggy minnows in the water, if you catch my meaning. Really? <laughs> you never told me about that, Ella. <laughs> Hi, George Bank. <laughs> Is it no about time for your paper run? Aye, OK, OK. But I've still to find my trainers. Oh, just follow your nose. Look, beat it, will you? I wouldn't want to follow your nose. I know where it would lead you. Be crass. Oh. That. Has he been drinking again? What are you asking me for? I've still got to find my trainers. Have you, fella? Have you been drinking again? No, look, I was up at the youth club playing table tennis. Aye, using your eyes as ping pong balls, eh? I've been told that you suck at the game. Oh, that's 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 enough. Oh, it's not me. Gash wouldn't he drink. Come here and give your Aunt Ella a nice big kiss. Oh. Kiss how there's dogs in the street. <laughs> it's a muzzle you want, we and Gash, sit down there. No, sit down. I'll say this, Mary. I admire you. It can't be easy bringing up two wains in your ain. Oh, I don't know. I had three wains to bozo did a bunk. <laughs> and I must say, Ella. I'm quite enjoying being able to open my purse without having to have police protection, you know? <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Aye. You'll not know yourself with your wee job, T. Fair enough, you're doing your hands in these scrubbing stalls at Govan Market. But at least you're getting in your feet. I mean, Jaffa cakes and a Wednesday, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> It speaks for itself. Aye, it didn't it? <laughs> oh, aye. Let's hear it for the Glasgow Economic Miracle. Jaff a cake on a Wednesday. <laughs> Whoopee. Ah, oh, hi, Jaff, we stu. And says my fags out my message bag. Hey, what are you? Homeless as well as legless. Gosh, can you not just daze your telt for one, son? I mean, can we not behave like civilised people? What's your Aunt Ella going to think of us? All right, come on, get them fags. Mary, you're all right, Hen. You're all right. You've been a good friend to me in my time of trouble. Oh. Just want you to know that, Mary. Talk, okay, Ella. Neighbours. <laughs> da 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 Neighbours. Da 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 da
should get a bucket. I think I'm going to puke. Neemers. <laughs> Everybody needs good neemers. <laughs> 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 Let me smell your breath. No. Let me smell it. No. Let me smell it. <laughs> I knew it. Bloody vodka. Hey, but Ma, you, you can't smell vodka. Hey, vodka has not go to smell. Exactly, you fly wee swine that you are. Do you want to end up a dirty new user like your dad? Ah, leave the way in a lane, Mary. Don't be so bitter and twisted. Just keep your neb out of the cellar. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's all my fault. I'm all the badgings now. Oh, come here, son. Come here to your Auntie Ella. Oh. <laughs> Bigger off, Auntie Ella. <laughs> hey, Tube, get through here pronto and bring a high pony and elephant gun. <laughs> that's right. Ridicule me. He's all oh, turning against me now. I'm not turning against you. Nobody's turning against you. I'm turning against you, bugger off! <laughs> it's about time you taught your way in some manners. Don't you stand there and insult my wains. No, cos that's her job. Oh, shut it, you. <laughs> Look, I know that you've been through a hard time recently, Ella, with your marriage breaking up and everything, but that does not make you an expert in human relations. Oh, listen to who's talking. At least I got other offers. Other offers? Other offers? I'd got other offers as well if I went strolling in the singles clubs every night of the week. But I've got responsibilities. Hey, don't you worry, more. I'll put wee plick face to his bed. You got the Savoy for a poke. That's enough. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I think I'd better go, Mary. Before I say something I regret. Eh, I go on and take your poison darts and your blowpipe with you. Oh, shut it, you! This is all your fault! Oh, aye. I blame me. Are you blame anybody but yourself? Gas! I don't... Gas! Ella! Bastard! <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> Try to give me a complex or something. No, no, you. Him. Rab. Oh, that bastard. Hey! <laughs> you shut that line with you. What have I told you about that? Aye, oh, okay, right. I'm sorry, Ma. I'll not say that bad word again. They mean all the same. You can't get me out of your mind, can you? Who? That bastard. I mean, my da. <laughs> what? Oh, my wee Barney son. <laughs> <laughs> mammy, what is it, son? You're not angry with me, are you, Mammy? Oh, of course not, son. And you're not angry with me, are you? Bloody right, I am. And see, when I'm old enough, I'm going to put jump leads in your zimmer. There you are. <laughs> see you! See you! You are bloody twisted, so you are. Just like that big galooty of feather of yours. Oh, grab. Where are you? How are you, Bastard! Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? What the hell time do you call this? What am I talking about? What the hell month do you call this? Where the hell have you been? Did you know full well where I've been? The World Cup. The World Cup finished months ago. We kept you. Ah, uh, well, I, I met a wee mate and we got talking and one thing led to another and uh, anyhow, it's magic to see you again. <laughs> what do you see? I brought you a wee present. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell is that? That's a pizza. Because <laughs> it's maybe a wee take steel through being in my pocket, mm -hmm. but well, surely it's the thought that counts. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, 
Uh, there's something the matter, Mary. <laughs> I can't take this in. What do you mean? Can you, you know, you know, please to see me. Hey, have you no missed me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed you, all right, Rav. I'll show you how much I've missed you, look. Like, I've missed lifting up the chair cushion here without your sweaty wife front hitting me in the fizzer. <laughs> and I have missed polishing the table without having to chisel barnacles a snot half of the legs. <laughs> I've missed the whang of your socks, catching me at the back of my throat like cheap supermarket body. Oh, aye. I've missed you all right, pal. Nay bother. I see you. Playing hard to get, eh? <laughs> <laughs> don't you push your luck. But don't you dare part your arse till I tell you. Don't you speak to me like that. Because I will kill you this way. No! I will tell you this. Do you think you can come stoting back in here after four months with a tartan scarf and a dodd of furry pizza and expect me to welcome you with open arms? Open legs would be better if I did <laughs> What was that? I've never seen a word. Uh, just as bloody well. Ah, oh, come on, don't bother that, come on. He's a wee kiss. <laughs> Kiss my arse. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it, I don't mind if I do that. <laughs> don't you touch me, Come now, on, y'all, hear me, y'all. Stop that, stop. Pappy Jun, where the hell were you? See you, you put me through hell. Ah, me, lovable old drab. With his bluff, vulgar ways and his mischievous schoolboy manner, right? Me! Aye, you. You that done the disappearing act and left me on my jack to pay all the bills. The rent, the provy, the electricity. You that sent me in a fina barbitone because I've been up to high bloody dough with my nerves. You that left the two boys no knowing whether you were alive or dead. Aye, you, lovable. A 40-year-old schoolboy that's dogging it for life. What's the matter, Mary Hen? Is it your time of the month? No. <laughs> no, it's no my time of the month. Well, there's no excuse for this kind of behaviour. This is not like it. <laughs> no, you're right, Rob. You are right. This isn't like me. I might as well give this to you straight, Rab. You were a habit with me. A habit that I thought I couldn't do without. But now that I've found out that I can do without you, the habit is broke. And I'm not that sure I want it to start back up again. Do I make myself clear? Wait, 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 wait. What are you trying to tell me here? You got another block or something? Aye. As a matter of fact, I have. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe it's only a scrubbing block for when I get down on my hands and knees at Govan Market. But it affects your position in this house as much as if I had two legs and was hung like Tom Jones. Just can it, will you? Just can it. I'm back, right? Just you be happy about that, lady. Just you be grateful for that. Oh, yes, Buana. Listen, I'll tell you this, lady. See the Italians? Christ, the Italians couldn't get enough of me. It was all, it was all hey, Mr. Nesbito, give some of your patero. Because you see, this is me, lady. This is me, understand? I've got the gift, you see. I've got the gift. Well, you haven't to go to in here. I'm not talking about here, am I? I'm talking about the world here. I am a citizen of the world. Mr. Happy, they call me. Christ, everywhere I go, people shout you. Oh, there he goes. Here, that big fat happy bastard. <laughs> You're not sure whether you want me back. What's oh, that a fact? Well, I'll tell you this. I'm not sure whether I want to be back. There you are. How do you say that? <laughs> what do I say to that? Sleep on the couch is what I say to that. Either that or sling your hook. I will not sling my hook, Chris. I've a responsibility in my wings. Don't you ever come. <laughs> Hey, Mo, have you seen my paper round bag? No. Love me, son. <laughs> mommy, mommy, who's that strange man? <laughs> it's me, it's your dad. I know it's you, you two. Don't you to me! Let me swing me up! Or you'll go out that door right this minute. Hey, Mr. Nesbito, can you show me your party? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you me and bloody packer of mine. Go on, you! Oi, 
<laughs> go on, beat it away, you go. There's a lot of guys chopping at your window there, and I just tell me, bug it off, you know, hang up, are you, boo? Hey, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Again, fancy. If it's a home and instinct, you want to redirect it. Love, don't live here anymore. Remember? <laughs> no, 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 Ellen. <laughs> no, I was just passing, you know. Good idea. Oh, same old Ella, eh? You've got a hell of a hard heart on your thing. Aye, and it stood me in good stead with you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm in a hurry. Oh, oh no, sorry, Ella. No, no, sorry, you know. No, it's just that uh, I wanted to talk to you, you know. What about? About us. How about you and me? Cos you're my wife. Oh, don't remind me. We were married for 13 years, Cotter. You could have talked any time. All you had to do was shift your butt off the armchair, prize a can of lager from out your geggy, and you could have yapped from the tea time news to prisoner in cell block H. Mind you, that's, say, uh, Overlooking one quintessential fact. What's that? We've got bugger all to say to one another. And excuse me. Ella, Ella, it wasn't always like that. It wasn't like that in the old days. We never had any old days. <gasps> oh, Ella! Stop saying that, Jamesy. I can't abide a man that whinges. Me? Whinge! <laughs> Take me back, Ella, please! I can't even live on my own, no. For your own sake, Jamesy, vamos. You're kneeling within my boken range. <laughs> Ella, Ella, I'll admit it. It was all my fault. I should never have sold off for fitted kitchen to pay for my trip to the World Cup. No, that, that was remiss of me. And Ella, darling, you are... Absolutely right. I am a useless article. And I'm spineless. And I'm sleeker. And, and I'm a no user. Aye. And I'm kind of waiting for a contradiction coming here, you know? You'll have a long wait, Jamesy. Ciao. The now. Right. Now, as, as far as I'm concerned, you are now amnesia city. As you scrubbed. Oh, no, you are finito, lady. Don't have a... Don't... Ella, don't go with me, please! <laughs> Look at me. Look at me, Look at me. Look at me. She's got me doing the shopping there. If you, if you want to stay in this house, you'd better start making yourself useful. Me, my choice. A skilled journeyman would use to this. <laughs> Who the hell are you sniggering at? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Maybe, maybe I'm no skilled and, and maybe, well, maybe I'm not even a journeyman. But I'll tell you this. I am an ex-serviceman boy. Four campaigns in the Tartan Army. <laughs> See that air? <yeah. laughs> See, you see that scar there? Yeah. I, get, I get that scar in Argentina when I set fire to my jersey after the Peru game. Because <laughs> I, I should have taken my jersey off first, you know. Maybe I wouldn't have toasted my nipples, but. <laughs> That's me, you know. I'm a, I'm a wacky kind of guy. I'm a crazy kind of customer. <laughs> I mean, that, that, is, uh, that is the Scots mentality for you, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Willie, well, well, what, what, what do you fancy doing tonight? Do you want, do you want to watch Catchword? Or will we sweep in a marauding horde across the hemisphere? and restore Scotland to the pinnacle of sporting greatness. <laughs> Come on to buggery. <laughs> <laughs> Speaks for itself, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope you'll excuse this 
stream of consciousness, I'm splatting on you here. <laughs> or semi-consciousness, to be more precise. <laughs> because, to be perfectly frank and honest with you, I'm ever so slightly squiffy. <laughs> Good old Dr. Tennant, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope he's don't, he don't think I'm getting morose here or nothing. You bastard that you are. <laughs> you know, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a times like these, <laughs> you just, well, you, you just wonder where it all went wrong. You know what I mean? I mean, if only, if only you could turn the clock back. You know. Well, in my present condition, if only you could tell the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know my trouble, actually? You know my trouble? I married the wrong woman. I married the wrong bloody woman. I mean, I hope you don't think I'm getting sentimental here and there, you know, because I love you all. You are all... You're all lovely, warm, caring human beings. For bastards. <laughs> but see if I could just turn the clock back. Back to the, back to the good old days. Back, back, to the, back to the school days, actually. Because I'll tell you this, boy. The school days is the happiest days of your life. Happiest days of your life at school. What a lot of shit I talk. <laughs> happiest days of your life at school, guys. Ha happiest days of your life if you were a sadomasochist. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if you were a school teacher in Scotland in the 1950s, you probably were a sadomasochist. <laughs> I remember the school I came. I remember the school. Rab, Rab, he's a swally out the can at playtime. Come on, I paid half for that. At playtime? You might get the belt off a severe mouth here. Cotter, be quiet, or it's the belt. See, tell you, he's a man of his word. <laughs> what was that? He says you're a turd. <laughs> sir, I wish you knew, sir, it was him, sir. You all know my philosophy. Children should be seen and not heard. And free dinner children shouldn't even be seen. <laughs> you girl, clean the board. Jamesy, what? Who's that? Her. That's Isabel Nidri. She started yesterday. You'd have seen her if you hadn't been dogging her. Hmm. Hey, do you fancy her? No, I do not. I think she's hot. <laughs> Nesbitt? Nesbitt! When you've finished gopping, perhaps you could favour us with your attention. Yes, sir, certainly, sir. What can I do for you, sir? What you can do for me, boy, is stop showing off and read. The Beatitudes. Read. Uh, read, sir, which bit, sir? Mm, just the words. Sarky <laughs> swine. Be quiet and read. Be quiet and read. We bit a contradiction there, sir. <laughs> but don't worry, sir, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm a wee bit of a character, doll. You'll get to know when I am. <laughs> read! B Blessed are the pure in spirit, for they shall see the kingdom of God. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the... 
Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, the first two I'll give you, but the meek inherit in there. I mean, what did they get after there? A Ford Popular and a three apartment in Castle Milk? <laughs> Out, boy! That's the Bible! Oh, I know, but the Bible's talking shite, sir. <laughs> Out now! Why, oh, Ollie, you want eat? When all this is over, I'm coming back to you, though. <laughs> Hands up! Rav, cover your wrist with your sleeve! What for? I can't draw it. See, tell you. Again! <laughs> what do you think you're going by? Again! <laughs> it's for that Again! Merely looking at you people is an affront to my sensibilities, but I'm paid to teach you and teach you I will. I will teach you respect. I will teach you the most valuable lesson people of your class can learn. Keep your heads below the parapet and you won't get hurt. All you'll ever know in life are small victories. Five bob, one on a horse, or shouting drunken abuse at me from a close mouth as I pass behind the bus. Work hard, and some of you may rise to be mediocre. Who knows? Some of you may find jobs in an office. Ooh, an office! Cotter! <laughs> Do you want the same? No, sir! But thanks for offering, sir! <laughs> yes, but stop blubbing and go to the toilet. I'm not blubbing. And I can't even go to the toilet. I can't even open the bloody door. <laughs> well, I told you to cover your wrist with your sleeve, didn't I? Oh, shut it, Yogi. I've got a bit of mail. You try it, puffy boy. Silence! You girl, what do you think you're going? Sit down. Get back to your seat. Sit! I've belted girls before now, you know. I will bet you have. See that wee spark there, a human decency there. That wee instinctive govern scumball gesture. We as in a dream. Always remember about that, you know. Could be anyone there, of course, you know. Round the corner, quite a limper for all I know. But whatever she is, may her arse be parked on our velvet cushion. <laughs> Market wet brain teeth kicker at you. <laughs> no bad, yeah, we heap a rancid puss at you. Huh? <laughs> In case you don't realise, that's governees for hello, by the way. You know? <laughs> I'm all right, my man. It's a first class, actually. What were you saying? Oh, fantastic, <laughs> Ram. Never better. But then, need you ask? Well, I do, actually. You're such a lion bastard, I never know for sure, you know. <laughs> Hell of a warm day, there, have Oh, it's very close. Oh, I'm absolutely sweating, sweating. Piling sweating. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, no! Oh, God. Women's nickels, eh? Very, very nice, too, but uh, tell me, uh, is the elastic no always kind of getting stuck up your crevice on it? <laughs> They're no mine, are they? Oh, hell of a story. <laughs> oh, highlights, you know, eh? Right. Who would put them in Julux? Oh, <laughs> put a shot! <laughs> <laughs> See that? Hey, eh? That is just negative talk, that. And I don't want that anymore, because see if you knew on. I just want happy people running about me, right? In fact, that's what I was telling that pain in the ass, Ella, just a couple of minutes ago. How eh? You are speaking to Ella? Aye. She's been following me about. <laughs> begging me to take her back. You know what they're like, Ram? I know what you're like. Eh, no, no, no. <laughs> no any more, Ram, now. 
you are now looking at the new suit top twin turbo James E. Cotter. Grab my life's working for me. <laughs> language here. Oh, I'm sorry, Rab, I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to mention work. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 what about you, eh? Are you turbocharged, eh? <gasps> Do you know what you should get yourself? One of the nice wee tartan shopping trolleys with the wee wheels. <laughs> Are you not very handy? <laughs> Don't you go above yourself, Cotter. Yeah, what happened in the bloody gizmo you'll be getting by? You just keep it heat. You keep it heat. It is lucky for you that I have outgrown the need for violence because that is what happens when your life works. Oh, God! Where did you go again? Go again? Where, the, where the hell do you have to keep saying that for? Eh? Can you not see I'm under the yoke here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you know what they say? If you don't like your life well, you can always change it. And speaking of which, have you thought any man about that proposition that I put to you? Share no flat with you. Right. Now, hey, dogs are stupid. Look at this, Look at this. We can't we, we, we can even, can even meet each other in the street here without having a set to. What the hell do you think it's going to be like in a glorified cupboard in Kinnon Park? <laughs> it is not a cupboard. It is a studio flat. Oh, aye, that's correct. My lav is a billiards room. I wait to get your pack. <laughs> Well, it's up to you, but it is drink, freedom, and rampant nookie against premature middle age. Back, I'll just leave you to it, Rab. That's best, I, cos, eh, uh, I'll need to get away back up to my pad, you know. I'll, eh, uh, I'll put some sounds on the stereo system. Oh, and I must hoover up the wee white sheepskin rug in front of the fireplace. <laughs> That's for a wee chick that's coming round later on the night for something to eat. As I say, Drab, that's me going up in my pad now, you know. I heard you. As a matter of fact, I heard you the first time. Well, away up your pad. Here, take your bloody neck of Go and bug her off. You're not wanting to. Away you go. All right. All right. <sighs> Twat. Freedom, is it? Eh? Nickels, is it? When a bloody saint mayor convinced me we'd turn the price ticket off him. <laughs> I tell you this, I am not half in the mood to tap the temple of some wee jumped up DSS gyro Germany. You know what I mean? <laughs> Next. Right, right, right. Good God, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, no. So, <laughs> no, see, I'm carrying the shop here, you know. Who the hell do you think you're speaking to, by the way? That's just Rab C. Nesbitt, you know. There's no need to be abusive, Mr. Nesbitt. I haven't even said anything yet. Well, I'm just warming up, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't expect me to come in here straight after the street. Give you top-notch abuse off a cold start, you know. <laughs> I mean, be reasonable. <laughs> I suppose not. There's a mighty good abuse. Good abuse is an art form. You've got to uh, build up to it, you know. Is this my file you've got there? Yes. Well, this is known around the office, the Encyclopedia Nesbitanica. What? <laughs> 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 it's just a joke. Um, oh, what can I do for you, Mr. Nesbit? Right, well, I'll get straight to the point. I am barassic. I need a heating allowance, and not only that, I need a bloody eating allowance. There you are. I I'm sorry, but the rules make no provision for any such thing. Oh, cos don't start with all that rules crap. Come on. You're an intelligent man, you know. You've got a social conscience, have you know? Yes. Well, there you are. I'm in a social, you want to stay conscious. Simple. <laughs> so why don't you just put your paw into your computer and wheak some wherewithal into my pocket pronto? I'm sorry, I, I just can't do that. Well, you'll have to bloody well do something, boy. Because I'll have two starving wings to support. Starving? Starving. You want a chip, sir? Oh, but you chips away from crying. Starving? Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. When, I'm, when I say starving, I'm, I'm talking relative here, you understand, you know? Relative to you, that is. See, you bastards, you give me the dry box, what do you do? <laughs> Sit 
sitting in there, sitting in there with your, with your fat asses jammed up against the radiator, passing judgment on me. I'll tell you this, boy. I don't know how you do your job. Because I couldn't do your job. I don't know how you sleep in your bed at night. Because I couldn't sleep in my bed at night. That's because you sleep during the day, da. <laughs> Up in here. Look, I, 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 I'll get straight to the point here, right? I stand here before you, a fat bastard in a string summit, <laughs> beseeching you. Just with every fibre of my being, just to give me back my self-respect in my own house. Release me from the tyranny of the shaken vac bottle. Hallelujah! For verily I say unto you, love thy neighbor. Not only that, feed the bastard as well. <laughs> Marinate my mitts with moolah. Shuffle my spirit with spondulix. Sizzle my sphincter in the great chip pan of the state's economic embrace. In short, give a hand, dude. <laughs> Come on, what do you say? No. Right, you bastard, you've claimed you're dead meat, boy. Oh, my. Oh, my. I thought I'd find you down here. Fine bloody example. This is to set the wings. What do you mean? What do you mean? You've gone over the score this time, Rabnes, but using their boys as emotional blackmail, they try and screw money off the state. I know, madam, that's what I said. Ah, oh, rap it, Clype. Look at this. He's only a wane. Who knows what psychological damage you're doing him? I must say, you big swine. I feel damaged. Gives a pound of rubbing my sensibilities. Oh, God. Shut it, you. You better get a grip of your responsibilities here, Rabnus. But for in case it's escaped your attention, you have got two problem children. So what? Uh, we're two problem parents. We can all be one big unhappy family. <laughs> what? This one is a bloody delinquent. And this one is halfway down the slippery slope to becoming an alcoholic. Howie! <laughs> is that right? Are you an alky? I do my best, I know. You hear that? You hear that? This calls for a celebration. Oh, my. That's typical. That's exactly the type of reaction I'd expect for you. A useless bloody article that'll neither work nor rant. Here, here. All it shut at you and suit that pen you. Here, here. I resent that. I do so bloody well work. I get the shopping in, don't I? That isn't it work. Was it no? Bloody funny how it was work when you were doing it, eh? Housewives <laughs> should get a wage. I'm just a skivvy in here. Ah, you yeah, 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 Look, this is a DSS office, not a marriage guidance bureau. If you want to argue, would you please do it outside? You shut your yap and hockey, would it? It wouldn't be much of a DSS office, would it? If there wasn't one or two scum having a rock on the premises, eh? <laughs> Dear God, Carlsberg or some bugger should be sponsoring us for keeping the tradition going. <laughs> You see that man there? In ten years' time, that man will be a protected species. They'll be importing other grizzly bears to mate with him up the safari park. <laughs> you, lady, are looking for a dig in the dogs. Just you try it, pal, and you'll go out that door in bloody instalments. <laughs> you better remember that my name happens to be first in that rent book. And if you want to keep taking food out of there and putting it in there, you'll keep a civil tongue in that napper of yours. Oh, she it's like that, is it? It's like that. Well, I'll tell you this, lady. Life is not going to buy a rab scene, is it? We are six pack and a couple of crispy pancakes because I have got my pride. I've got my pride. Well, if you want to start eating your pride off a paper plate while you're living in a cardboard box in the underpass, you're going the right way about it. Come on, yous. Now! Right, Mark. Where are yous going? Don't you shove me, you stun there. Don't you bloody move anywhere. Here, here, here. <laughs> now, you listen. It is either her or me. Cheerio, da! <laughs> Go on in, you bugger bugger up! You're not bloody wanted! And don't bother running about bugger up! <laughs> Who the hell are you looking at? Leave me out of this. Let me return to fingering my box file. I was happy then. Happy. Happy. However, I said, 
This is government. There is no such word as happy. Because I'm going to tell you a story. No, Shall don't tell me anything. Up? I don't want to hear. Every day it's the same. In Pentago and Rebox. Hideous shell suits covering unspeakable underwear. I don't belong here. I need nice people around me with, with privet hedges and, and leather buttons on their cardies. I wasn't born for the jungle. I'm too sensitive. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. I know what you're talking about. You're, you're, you're sensitive. <laughs> and that's your fact. <laughs> you're a bit like myself. <laughs> don't touch me. I don't like to be touched. I know. Some of your poverty might rub off in my Pringle. <laughs> See you people. See you middle class. Christ, it's a different life for the girl, isn't it? Hey. I mean, she's not a B1, I need to come in here really, is it? It's a flaming passport. <laughs> hey, you tour of you. Him, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thought you were away up your sound system, make love to a sheepskin. I <laughs> well, I was gone, wasn't I? But I had to check in here first, didn't I? Hell of a quiet in here. Where is it from you anyway? Oh, have for God's sake. <laughs> that's the war, that's the war, Jimmy. All the scum's out in the desert, liberating Kuwait. <laughs> yeah, pal. You ain't gonna have liberated Kuwait, or maybe may I start and govern. <laughs> I really wouldn't know. <laughs> Here. I'll tell you, this is hell of a good to see a friendly face with a king, you know what I mean? Aye. I, uh, I suppose it's quite good to see you two. Rab, gonna give a swally out of that can. I'm absolutely parched. Hi, go on. Oh, oh, I, oh, hey. I saw Mary going up the road there. She's looking a wee tight, sewer faced. Sewer faced? Sewer faced? She's got a mouth on her like an asshole in January. <laughs> So is uh, domestic life no suiting you then, Rab, no? Suiting me, suiting me, she's a bitch, she's a bitch. She thinks she's got me by the ball hairs, but I'll tell you, she's another thing coming. Because no woman tames Rab seen as me. Here you are. Eh, Rab, you haven't got another one of these, have you? This one's gone a bit empty here. Another couple in the bag, yeah. All right, ah. <coughs> What the hell is this? Head and shoulders. Well, I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. <laughs> I drink that after I've been out in the piss. The natural fact it can help clean your inside, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's better. <laughs> you see, that's more like the old rab. That is more like the rab that I know. Soft and silky, maybe, James, eh? But wayward with it. Wayward with it. <laughs> wayward, wayward. <laughs> and, and with that word in mind, rab, I'm, I'm just wondering if you'd thought any more about that proposition that, that I put to you. Rob. Why, sharing a flat with you? It doesn't matter, so. No, oh, never mind, doesn't it matter. Don't tempt me. Don't bloody tempt me. Cause I'm just in the mood I might just bloody well do it. Well, why don't you? Rab, why don't you? Cause you and me, Rab, I mean, you know, we go back a long way together, you know? I God, we do that, sir. Hey, 
In actual fact, you and me's made life's dirty big cosmic journey together, haven't we? <laughs> or away for a school to the social security. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember a school, eh? God. We used to talk. We used to talk about everything. We did so. The best that is, Jimsy. We thought one day we'd find out all the answers. So, Nesbitt, this is your last day of school. Yes, sir. I, I just thought I'd come and say to you, sir. I can't say I'm sorry to see you go. You've hardly been a model pupil. What are eight tens? Same as ten eights, sir. <laughs> Same recalcitrant attitude all the way down the line. I despair of you, boy. You've been a waste of space. Cheers, sir. I just wanted to thank you for all the help and encouragement you've given me over the years. You're leaving too? Yes, sir. What are you going to do? Raise a family, sir. Same as my mother. Predictable. And you, Nesbitt, what are you going to do? Raise a glass, sir. Same as my father. <laughs> Equally so. I have no doubt you'll both achieve your ambition. Goodbye. Nesbitt. Sir? You'll be dead in a gutter by the time you're 40. That's a wee bit uncouth, sir. I mean, you're half dead in a semi in Clarkson, but I don't go ripping a piss out of you. <laughs> That's the trouble with the Scottish middle class. No manners. Ten years, dear. Ten years it took me to say that. What are you talking about, Rab? Oh, uh, oh sorry, sorry, Jim. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was my own somebody there, you know. Back in the days when I was a winner. Rab, you could be a winner again. You come with me. You come with me to a wonderful world of fun and freedom and golden opportunity. Where? Cunning Park. Rab, come and share my bullet. Oh, Jesus, what do you say? I mean, that's what I forget. What the hell am I going to say to her? What do you say to me? I don't know. Tell her anything. Rab, write her a letter. Hmm? You express your dissatisfaction with words. A letter? Look at that. I'll write a good letter. I'll get a letter, all right. Oh, don't I give a shit that paper. Oh, this is a momentous moment, Rob. Because this is where you get your aim back at last. With searing words of lyrical passion. That'll scorch your heart and give you a mental malty. Here, 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 here. Mm. Dear Mary, see me, Amovsky. Up yours, regards, Rob. <laughs> I think it's maybe a wee shade sentimental. Uh, only comparatively. Compared to what? Yeah, compared to waking it up and finding a horse's head in her bed. <laughs> ah, bugger, that's good enough for me, boy. I'll get you wee shoot my turie there. He can push it through with her January. <laughs> <clears throat> Send that through to Mary Nesbitt to Restitution Street. Because I'll tell you this, boy. I'm a free man. I'm free. I mean, I know I'm on the SS, James, and I know I owe a stack of dosh on the Provenant, but I'll tell you, even scum can find its place in the sun. Oh, God well said, Rab, well said. Hey, I only hope you were listening to that because, see that man? That man is inspirational. Hey, see you, Rab. You could be the Winston Churchill of Wine Alley. Ha, <laughs> bloody right, eh? We shall swally on the streets, we shall swally on the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> We shall swally in the kebab shops and then push up a close later on. <laughs> we shall never go sober. Yes! <laughs> see that door there, Jim? I see that door, Ram. We are getting through that door, boy. You and me is getting through that door with purpose and with strain. We're getting through that door where nappers held high with pride. Money with me. And we Europe. Hey, here we go. Hmm? Proud and unbowed. And he, the future. Rob, Rob. Shh. 
sight, 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 it's Mary. <laughs> Quick, put the laddie in. Cheerio, have a nice day. Brad, where did you get the money for that shot? And did I leave my purse in it? Where the hell is he? He's gone, but he left this. Sis. Do you know like her? Uh, well, it's no... <coughs> what's, what's the matter with you? No, it's just a smell catching the back of my throat, you know. <laughs> oh, well, that'll be the air freshener. Air? You mean there's air in here? <laughs> Don't give me that. There's plenty of air in here. There's all the air you want blowing in through that hole in the window there. <laughs> Have you noticed? That is your bed. That's my bed. Aye, brilliant, eh? <laughs> Dear God. What are you looking for? What am I looking for? The tiny tears doll up. That's it. <laughs> that is a stoning bed, that. Go on, fling yourself down. Luxuriate. <laughs> luxuriate, because it's luxuriate. <laughs> oh. What was that? The sheet cracked. <laughs> no. No, I have been meaning to get down to the laundry now, but I may out with some chick. You know how it is, eh? This, uh, this will be a towel lately, eh? Aye, that's a towel. What is the matter with a towel now? Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Except if you dried yourself out, you'd be smellier than before you washed. <laughs> are you going to stop moaning? Cos if we are going to stay here together, we're going to have to draw up some kind of ground rules. Ground rules? What kind of ground rules? Well, first of all, territory. Right, now, as of now, Everything. See, for that mince stain in the water, eh? we'll say three steps that way. That'll be mine. So it's like one, two, three. See that? That is sovereign quarter territory, that. Eh? No, no, but everything else, for that sticky black lump of something or other on the linoleum, for that warp in the windy fitting, that is the bounds of the Nesbitt Empire. Now, you know, I can't touch that, right? Strategic installations. That's like the cooker of lab with a car or gas fire we share. Oh, and eh, uh, if we've got any women coming up, you know, we take it in turns to scatter our shirts and our trousers all in a bit of room. I mean, generally make the place look like a bomb's hacker. Have that. Go and use your noddle. If the place is too tidy, they'll maybe think we're gay. <laughs> so is that agreed? I've no bloody option, have I? Hey, considering your name's first on the rent book. Aye, well, that is my personal nuclear trigger, Rab. Ah, but don't worry. I will only push that button as a retaliatory gesture. Because, Rab, I want us to stay here together in a spirit of peace and freedom and equal partnership. Is that agreed? Aye, agreed, agreed, agreed. Good. Now get your ass into that kitchen and make me a cup of tea. <laughs> what? No, in an equal way. Make yourself one tea. Oh, all right, all right, that'll be shining bright. Listen, you hear to me. I didn't quick my bahooki out of frying pan in Wine Alley to shove it up a colour gas fire in Kinnan Park. That is a terrible thing to say. Hey, that is a slur, by the way. Ah, your ass is a slur. The only reason you want me here, boy, is to pay half the rent. Oh, and of course, because you're too fit up to sleep in the dark yourself. That's, eh? no, that's another slur. That's two slurs. In fact, that is two slurs rapid. I mean, now, I'm not going to forget that. Can see now, I feel sullied. Sullied? You're bogging, pal. <laughs> look at you. Look at you, Look at the state you. Look at the state of jeans. What's not going to matter when you... Hey, Women happen to like me like this. It makes me look vulnerable. 
Vulnerable. Any mere vulnerable, you'll be weaving baskets in a mental home. <laughs> oh, really? Well, uh, I tell you what, Ram. Uh, if you don't like it, why don't you just bugger off, go and beat it? Oh, that's bloody good. And that's bloody good. I can't bugger off now, can I? Hey, I've burnt my boats now, haven't I? But don't you worry, boy, don't you worry. I'll not be spending any more time than I have to in this, this Kinnon Park Hilton. I mean, look at it. Look at it, that place. Look at the state of the place. There's nothing the matter with it. What's the matter with it? There's not even a honour for the bloody door. Aye, there is. Where is it, Ralph? There it's holding up the armchair. <laughs> hey, look. I didn't want you to live here on my own, did I? I mean, I didn't want my marriage to break up. Did I? Yeah, big bull. <laughs> just calm down, mate. Just calm down. Oh, shut it, shut it, shut it. Oh, I know you didn't want your marriage to break up. <laughs> Come on, James. Hey. I'm saying I hear what you're saying, right? <laughs> oh, and you want a wee cup of tea or what? No! Well, aye, okay. <laughs> put a kettle on. Aye, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Well, put a kettle on, right? Come on, where's the kettle? Uh, it's in the sink. Well, where's the sink? It's under a bed. <laughs> no, I've, I've been meaning to get that fixed, Rab, you know? Oh, God! Rab! I'll push the electric away! Rab! Don't leave me in my own! I'll be right. I'm getting up for now. Bloody city. Bloody buses. Bloody freezing. Look, it's called for Oyas, and your morning doesn't make it any easier. Oh, no. There's a drunk woman. Don't you look. Oh, you're all right, Ma. It's no a woman. It's Matty Ella. Eh? A wee drop nail varnish, that'll stop it running, you know. <laughs> How are you getting on, Ella? I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, handsome? Ella, your breath is honking. Where the hell you been? Lunch, son. Lunch? It's only nine o'clock in the morning, Ella. <laughs> Lunch yesterday. <laughs> this is me just getting back. <laughs> Sarah B. <laughs> so, how are you all getting on? Oh, no bad, no bad. Well, I'm taking this van to the correction unit and that van to the child psychologist. <laughs> it's a kind of govern equivalent to a family picnic, you know? <laughs> Why are you doing up the correct? The correct? The, the loony bin, son. <laughs> Well, I've got a psychological problem. I keep swallowing ping pong balls when I'm pissed. Why? Aye. He's like a hen laying. He's in a shite. Shut it, you! <laughs> and, uh, how are you, Barney's son? Oh, me? I'm just boring old mentally disturbed, you know? <laughs> but I'm hot on my separation. I'll give me some points towards a persecution complex. Oh, really? Here's one. Oh. Cheers, Ma. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Go at. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd better get myself away up the post office. It's family allowance day. Uh, but you don't have a family, Ella. Exactly. But Cotter will be there cashing his gyro. And I just like to rub it in that he's sterile. You're a hell of a woman, so you are, Ella. <laughs> Cheerio, Mary Hen. Cheerio, Ella. 
Cheerio, handsome. Aye, aye, all right, Aunt Ella. Wait a minute and get to your bed. Eh? You have a wee sleep or something. Eh? Put your sweet laps a little closer to the fire. Bloody freezing. Eh, put face. Watch this, right? I'm going to press a few guilt buttons here. She's on no pay for a taxi. Let me go. Mummy! What is it, son? When is Daddy coming home? No, oh, I've no idea. But see if you see him. Can he give him this for me? Are you? Don't start me. <laughs> oh, no. There's a drunk man, now. Don't you look. Hey, it's no a man, it's my da. Some place to go in, eh? Where else can you get a fish supper at nine o'clock in the morning, eh? <laughs> Simple. You just pinch it up a drunk that's been lying pissed oh. inside it. I don't want you speaking to him. We are not tell to speak to him. He's my dad. He's a lousy, selfish, immature, big mouth pig. The bugger daft and left us in the lurch. But I don't want to poison your minds against him. <laughs> no, no, no. You speak to him if he's one. No, no. Mo's right. He deserves to suffer. Let's give him the rubber here. Right. Oh, gee. It's like, it's like that, isn't it? It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like that. <laughs> I remember it's like that. <laughs> If, if, that, if that is the way he's won it, so be it, so be it. Because I'll not be creeping about here, trying to sit in me. Don't you worry about that. Why do I need tip on my tongue? Stick your chips up your ass. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Manners, please. <laughs> Now that's better, son. Oh, there you go. Want to be Why should I want what you offer him first, eh? <laughs> oh, that's bloody good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm saying that bloody good, isn't it? <sighs> hey, Mo, there's some dodgy looking character singing about here. Fancy leg it up to the next stop. A good idea, son. Come on, boys. Let's go. I will run then. Be dead, son. Bugger up the lion! You're not wanted! Because I will walk alone, boy! I will walk alone! <laughs> Bastard! The world. He turn them into second class citizens. <laughs> he bug it up and leave them, give them a nice healthy chip in their cedar, something to work on and let a light. And what thanks you give her? I give, I give, I give the wings everything. The hats were skipped, so done back to front. <laughs> Bermuda shorts. 
He trained us with the dirty big tongues. Christ, I was up all night getting that gear out of Burton's window. <laughs> I'm bloody satisfied. You know, you know who I blame? I blame, I blame her. I ain't there. I'm, I'm really a lying woman. I'm really, I'm there. <laughs> What have you got a big ready for? <laughs> Is that your first kiss? <laughs> My good kiss of the world. <laughs> Sorry, Isabel. I should have finished my crisp before I went to you. It's all right. It's great being on a picnic, isn't it? Aye. I've never been on a picnic before. A govern picnic. <laughs> Ten fags and a bottle of ties. <laughs> Stop that, you! What's the matter, Isabel? You know want it, Isabel. I want it. Gonna use it, Isabel. Go no! You're not getting it. What do you take me for? Do you take me for a swag? Where are you going? I'm just gone, mate. I've been going with you for ages. Three weeks? Exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't want to pressurise you, number one. I don't want to get weighed in with a moral blackmail, number one. But, well, if you don't use it, I'm going to chop you. <laughs> It's up with you, doll. It's shoot my hands now. But if I do gear you, you'll, you'll just chuck me as well. Oh, no! You've got me all wrong. I'm not, I'm not like other blokes. <laughs> See me, I'm different. Well, your partner's the same. <laughs> my, 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 feel, my feelings is different. How, how, how do you know speak your feelings? I do speak my feelings. It's just, I speak my feelings through my hands. <laughs> and right now my hands are saying, Bonnie, drop your drill. No, no. <laughs> right. If I do yet, you better not chop me, I mean it. I'm not chop you, Isabel. I'd never chop you. You're dead precious to me. You should know that. How do you get this bra? I mean it! <laughs> You're dead precious to me, Tay. And I feel dead protective about you. You, you bring out my mother and instincts. But I'm warning you. If you chop me, I'll get my three big cousins to stiffen you. Oh, Isabel. Just lie down. <laughs> no way! Oh, why is it new? <laughs> you know done it before? I've always wondered where I'd do it first. It's all I've thought about for ages. That and, and who I'd do it with. I just never thought it would be here. With you. <laughs> In the kissy old elder park. With a kissy old 
cringe and squash doubts and dog teeth. <laughs> Do you know, this is probably the same teethy old spot when my father did it to my mammy 15 years ago. Sorry. And I, we're not like them. We're not like them at all, you and me. See, you and me, we're, and we're different. <laughs> We are, aren't we? You'll no end up like them. Won't we, no? Gee's a break. <laughs> Do I look like a loser? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's... Let's get the bushes. How's it going, Ram? <laughs> Is this you eating a man, Dan? <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> uh, Ram, do you mind if I have one of your chips? <laughs> you down there. Mm. Mm. You might see this bird I'm waiting for. Can't laugh at crack. Ella! My God, you're looking well. <laughs> well pushed. Hi, what are you doing here? It's gyro day. I thought you'd have been up the quick fit getting new shock absorbers pit in your liver. Why don't you beat it? I could get fined for having you out without a muzzle. Hell of a big all of a sudden for a gink that's creeping about the streets trying to suck in with his wife. But I've got news for you, pal. I don't want you back. Well, that's okay, cos I don't want you to want me back, sir. Who are the floors for? What floors? <laughs> what are these floors? Yeah, I'm minding them for Rab. He's got a date on. <laughs> that, that's why he's looking so nervous. <laughs> I'll say this for you, Cotter. You don't gee up, do you? But you're wasting your time, fella. I don't want you back. It's okay, it's okay. I told you, didn't I? I don't want you to want me back. Cos I have made other arrangements, eh? <laughs> what do you think I'm stunning here with my zoot suit on for, eh? <laughs> don't give me that. The floors are for his date, you just tell me. I know, I, I, I know. I, the floors are for his bird, I. But the condoms are for me! <laughs> nor I want to gloat, nor nothing you know. What's the sell, buddy? I think I saw them in the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> oh, you don't like it, do you? No, no. You don't like it when old jumping Jack Jamesy wins a couple, eh? When the old cotter seed corn is spilled on the fields of luster. What seed corn? There's mere life in a pack of Uncle Ben's and sprouting between the loins of yours. <laughs> At least it's long green oil, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> we eat strange things, couples, isn't they, Ella? What do you mean? No, no, I'm just saying it's funny, you know, it's funny how they uh, take each other for granted. <laughs> Tiwani them gets off with somebody else. I get my chances, fella. Ah, well, I'd take them while you still can. I've still got my looks, and I've looked after my figure. Ah, well, you want to take another look in the mirror? Because you're going to have to go out and buy yourself a second brazier and wear it in the back to keep your ass from bumping off a paper. <laughs> Stop getting at me, Jamesy. Stop it. <laughs> 
You're gone beyond a joke now. No, no, don't worry. Don't you worry. Just because I've found somebody else, I'll no gloat. <laughs> no, no, because gloating is not in my nature. So just get it right up to <laughs> Winners can afford to be magnanimous. <laughs> That's her three and a half years late, Rab. <laughs> Right, that's right, it. I'm stunning her up. Oh, I'll hang on to him. thinking here. But I am not an alcoholic. <laughs> I mean, alkies get pissed and lie about in gutters. <laughs> well, fair, fair enough. I'm pissed and I'm lying in a gutter. But I mean, alkies, that's the day job, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I in actual fact, just drink to pass myself in company. When you get right down to the bottom line, I can either take drink or I can leave it. I'd sooner take it off then. <laughs> <sighs> One, two, three, Bobby, up you get, come on. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you know a wee bit of hack it to be pouting at the punters? <laughs> right, come on, you. Get yourself up on your feet. That's the stuff. And get on your way. You're blocking that pavement. You're blocking the landscape, but I'm not telling you to bugger off, am I? You better not. You'll find yourself in bother. Aye. So get away home, come on. Yeah, I mean, right here. Yeah. This, this, is a, this is a democracy here. Yeah. I mean, I have, a, I have a choice here. Maybe I, maybe I want to get into a border. Maybe I want to get a wee bit of business your way, eh? You ever think of that? No, you never think of that. Well, you're going the right way about it. Now, just get away home. I assume you've got a home to go to. That's a bloody big assumption in this day and age, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't be taking in by appearances here, you know. I mean, I might look like one of the new kids on the block, but... <laughs> is likely to be an old bastard on the skids, you know. <laughs> I thought maybe you with your subtle eyes for detail might have been able to spot the difference. Aye, so you are looking for trouble, eh? Christ is sharp old Sherlock here, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, let's get down to business here. Get the cuffs out, get them on me, and get me up that Orkney Street Holiday Inn pronto. <laughs> Anything's better than our night in Cotter Castle, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, Christ, look, I'll make it easy for you. I can see you have just knew it again, you know. Go. Look, come on, look, get up the road. I can't arrest you because you haven't done anything worse than be a pain in the ass. So come on, beat it. In the name of Christ, what kind of business are you running here at all? <laughs> is, there, is, there, is there that many crooks in government you can afford to turn business away in you? <laughs> Frankly, yes. Oh, I see it's like that, is it? Listen, you hear me. Guys, actually, I can remember, I can remember when govern crime was just a cottage industry. But Christ, well, you were all happy enough to take my business name day. Eh? Oh, come in, Mr. Nesbitt. Come in, come in, come in. Have a quick tap in the ribs with my toe cap. <laughs> what are you talking me? Bad I am. Look, I understand your feelings. You're down in your luck. You want to take your resentment out on an authority figure. Now, just get away home, and I'll turn a blind eye your belligerent behaviour. In the name of Christ, is that your best offer? <laughs> the modern peace officer's role is to bring harmony to the community. Take it or leave it. Well, no, no offence, you understand, but I'm a wee bit uh, traditionalist, you know. So be this 
on your own head. <laughs> That's it! That's it! You're fucking good! Oh, really? I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! Oh, yeah! See! That typical of the modern Polish wolf! Never a pig around when you need one! Come on! Come on! Come on. We it. He might, have, he might abandon the game and ban me for a doggy here, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Chief. Away you go. You're on next. <laughs> Robert C. Nesbitt, you stand charged with striking a police officer. A very serious charge. How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. I'm a pure bad swine. Hanging is too good for me. <laughs> Three months in a jug, pal, that'll do very nicely. <laughs> can I give me time to get my life sorted today? you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Christ, how are you getting on? <laughs> I never recognised you there. <laughs> That's a hell of a black eye you've got. <laughs> You're sonning there like a bloody panda. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Oh. Silence! You know, I see too many of your type in here these days. Drunken, cliched stereotypes dragging our image down into the stagnant waters of the past. Aye, very good, very good. Now, come on. You're going to get your act together and get me up a jailer, what? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You would like that, wouldn't you? Hey, I'd like it to your honour. No, because I've got to live in a morning face swine, you know. <laughs> Silence, one more, one more interruption, and I will clear this court thing. Hey, shut up. <laughs> No, Nesbitt, Nesbitt. It's all too easy for you, isn't it? Easy? What do you mean? What do you mean? When the going gets tough, just bail out and lean the burden of your life on others. Ah, that's right, pal. You tell him. <laughs> I've been telling him that for years. Mary, sweetheart, have you come to give me your support? Support my ass. <laughs> I've come to give you back your dirty washing. <laughs> been stinking out my laundry basket for weeks. And as for you, pair, I'm scunnerdies. Come and creep me round here after that fat article has buggered off out of the door. Hey, hey, we're entitled to this, my da. Aye, blood sticker than wah. Aye, maybe, but so is a skid marks in his wife. <laughs> For goodness sake, were you trying to modify your language? This is a court of law. Ah, oh, you can shut your yap and all your sleek at me swine at you. I blame you for all this, for trying to put ideas into that excuse for a nap or a his. Objection! Oh, God. <laughs> that is a slur, by the way. My motives were selfish. Because I acted out of love for Ram. Well, seeing as you love him that much, you can wash his whites for him in there. That's it, that's it. Out, out of the court of period. Out you go. Go on, away you go. Turn it off, I love you. You shouldn't be washing my dirty linen in public. <laughs> See that there? That was a violation of human rights there. A man's nickels is sacred. 
Why your knickers don't come any holier than his? <laughs> Silence! Silence! Enough of this low-life pantomime. This is not a musical. You're not here to enjoy yourself. Well, Your Honour, look, we were just having a wee laugh, eh? Aye. I'll tell you when to laugh and be the judge of what's funny. And this waster here is no laughing matter. Here, here, well said. I couldn't have put that better myself, actually. <laughs> Come on, are you going to get your ass in gear and get me up the jailer? What? Because I'm 40 good years of wasting ahead of me here. Come on, chop, chop. Oh, no, Nesbitt, not this time. The state will exact its punishment, but the punishment will fit the crime. You left your wife and family rather than work for a living, so... Work for a living, you will! <laughs> Have you anything to say before I pass sentence? Something to say? Of course I've got something to say. Damn me! Dear God! What is it with you buggers? Eh? When, a, when us scums in work, you're doing your damnest to shut down our factories, and then by God, when we're just getting used to the door, you're telling us to get our asses back in the conveyor belt again. <laughs> you know your trouble, eh? You're trying to make us scum as, as poor-faced and as miserable as yourself. I mean, take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. What kind of role model are you for the likes of us to aspire to? Eh? Sitting there with a duff perm and a silk dress, kidding on your normal. <laughs> normal, is it? Christ, I'm more normal than you, and I'm a nutcase, I'm a heater. You want to get down off that high chair of yours and take a scum's eye view of the world. Because see you there, see you there, there is a bloody war going on out there. Chris, I live in a street where the buggers would steal the eyes out your head. <laughs> and then have the cheek to come back for the sockets. I'm supposed to leave my house every morning and go and shovel shite for the likes of him and then get a lecture on the work ethic for afters. <laughs> you pass judgment in me, I'll pass judgment in you, boy. You're out of date, you're obsolete. Because you're a bigger bloody dinosaur than me. <laughs> work is at work. I mean, I've worked with a whole lot of sub Ravens, Craig, making a poker big enough to fit up your asshole. <laughs> Have you quite finished? Oh, shut up and stop pontificating, you posy old bastard that you are. Get on with a job, pass the sink. Nesbitt, enough of this rabid insolence, or I'll be forced to charge you with contempt of court. Cont garbage. I, I have bugger all against the court. You're the one I've got a contempt for. Look, stir it about. I'm going to make this simple for you here. Look, what, what do you get for dunking disorderly? Seven days. Right, and what do you get for this famous contempt of court? Fourteen. Right you are. I am not asking seven days. <laughs> I am not asking fourteen days. <laughs> there you go. I'll fling in a boot in the balls and sexual harassment. <laughs> what do you say we call it? Twenty-eight days. Done! <laughs> Another victory for common sense. <laughs> Shall I come back again? Oh, brilliant, Jamesy, brilliant. <laughs> oh, well, bless on my soul, oh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm itching like a man on a fuzzy tree. Well, my friends sing them back, and just a while as a bug I'm in love. Woo! I'm all shook up. Oh, 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 Welcome <laughs> him, Rob. Put it there. Look at that. Uh, that's first class, isn't it? I can see you went a hell of a lot of blood there, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, just one thing, Jimsy. Hey, what, what's that, Rob? <laughs> Where's my bed? Your bed? Oh, I sold it. <clears throat> you said what? Uh, I sold it. <laughs> Well, you were always moaning about it anyway, weren't you? The heat boards mock it. You could use the sheets for surfboards. <laughs> Rob, look, I go a music centre for it. Oh, well, that's a very dab. I can lift up the lid and curl around the turntable there, eh? <laughs> what the hell right did you sell my bed? Like, what do you want a bed for? 
Beds are middle class, Rab. You curl up the flare, keep your credibility intact, you know. No, because that, that's one thing I have always said about you, Rab. You have got principles. I've also got a bloody spinal column. <laughs> a bloody sight me on the good save you, boy. I'm not going to argue with you, I'm not going to argue with you. Tell you what, I'll play you some music, eh? Because music has charms to soothe the savage breasts. So do you. So do you. Don't want your bloody music. Because any breast that's going to be savage, I think we'll just leave to you, will we? Mm. Well, I take it this is what we're titivating ourselves up for, is it? And what do you mean? What do you mean? However, God said you need a smog mask in here to keep out the smell of brute fumes. <laughs> 10,000 rabbits blinded shows you can smell like a toilet fresh. <laughs> that is a slur, by the way. Why do you always think the worst of me, eh? I mean, what makes you think that I've got some woman coming up here anyway? Because I've known you fast. Shut it, that's her now, that bugger off out of windy gone. I'm no bugger off out of any bloody windy. No peroxide pickup is going to be me in my billet. No sick-ass six-year-old with a face like one and a belly like string bag is going to be in my... Oh, Lord, Jamesy. <laughs> oh, Rina. <laughs> Rab, this is Rina. You all right? <laughs> Mm. Uh, 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 I know you at all. Uh, don't come that far. <laughs> come on, doll. Sit down. Uh, hang about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, there. No, that's not a very nice chair. Uh. Huh? This is a nicer chair over here, you know. <laughs> 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 Bugger off! I would. <laughs> uh, can I get you something to drink, Nina? Aye, thanks very much. I'll have a Bacardi and Coke. A <laughs> the cocktail cabinet. <laughs> well, amazingly enough, we seem to be all out of Bacardi. And Coke. Shut up. What have you got, then? Here, I've got, uh, I've got pina colada, margarita, oh, tequila sunrise. Mmm, that's the well stock drinks cabinet, eh? <laughs> oh, that's no drinks, doll. That's flavoured condoms. <laughs> <coughs> Can I offer you a bobro, Rina? <laughs> no, you're all right. Here, look, I've got a wee half bottle here in my bag. <laughs> Just you get us a couple of glasses, eh? <laughs> oh, God, I'm a bit pissed. <laughs> I was out for a drink with the work. Oh, is that a fact? What about you, then? Do you work with computers as well, eh? <laughs> Computer? Uh, no, no, Rina. Uh, no, uh, Rab is actually in a computer. <laughs> Which is slightly different, you know. Whereas, of course, me, Rina, I mean, I can compute like a loony, you know, interface, outer face, two face, you name it. Have you got a shaker? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, I've not got one of them, no. <laughs> but, eh. Uh, I tell you what, Lena. <laughs> if, uh, if you were to lie down on the bed, I could get a mattress and a wee sugar and it would have the same effect, eh? <laughs> Aye. All right, then. <laughs> Aye. Yeah. Right, right, then. Mm. Oh, my <laughs> God, what a two <laughs> drinking <laughs> There is nothing more repellent than watching a middle-aged grunter gone for it, is there? <laughs> oh, no. Just a minute, just a minute. Are you eating a packet of crisps? <laughs> No, no, I was taking my underpants off. <laughs> Aye. Well, you can just pick your underpants right back on again. Aye, mm. Aye on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Listen, Rina. <laughs> I am not going to beg here, right? <laughs> Connie, give me it, Rina. Connie, please, give me it, Connie. Please, please, please. No. But Rina, I know. Because. No, but because isn't an answer. Aye, well, it's the only one you're getting. Just trust me, Rina. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> eh? What's it like at all? Watching the antics of a male animal. Actually, I suppose, I suppose in a way, Cotter does work in computers, I see. You watch him. You watch him skillfully now move into sincerity mode. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm not very good at this courtship carry-on because I've not had a lot of practice in the last 20 years. That's us entering shite mode now. <laughs> Well, to be absolutely honest with you, Rina, it is not often that I have the pleasure of the company of such engaging and uh, attractive woman as you. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> See, I like it better when you talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get back in again, Annie. <laughs> 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 Now will you get your drawers off, eh? <laughs> you must never do a tango with an Eskimo. You must have got all the respectability chromosomes in your family. Because yeah. your sister certainly had none. Here, her sister. Who is her sister, by the way? Just you leave my sister out of this, right? I don't like you talking about my sister. All right, all right. Calm down, because I'm just asking you who your sister is, you know. Who is your sister? I'm, I'm a funny feel, maybe I don't know your sister. But I know her at all. You might. Isabel Nidre. I don't want to do it. That's it. Of course, we are the You mean it's school, we are the How are How is she getting on? She's dead. <laughs> she died two years ago. That's how I don't like him talking about her. So you just keep your yap zipped in future, right? Right, just steady the buffs here, right? Let the buffs be steady here. Goodwill unto stiffs, not out. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, Rab, no, sorry. Did I not tell you about we as in a dripping dip? Rab, I meant to tell you. I, it was about two years ago. Uh, I was in this pub, and this guy came up and he tapped me in a shoe. You know, and he says, hey, she hear we as in a dripping dip? I said, no, but I must tell Rab. And Rab, I was going to tell you, but he, oh, and then this other guy tapped me in a shoe. Shut up! <laughs> what, what happened to do? She married a bad man. He ran away and he left her with the two wings to bring up. And the strain just killed her. Hey, snap! That's the same as yourself, Rob! <laughs> <laughs> this is a small world, isn't it? I don't think I need semaphore to see the comparison there. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Look, eh? No offence to her memory. But a stiff's a stiff when it's we are still alive and kicking. And I think we owe it to ourselves to enjoy ourselves, so come on. Come on, let's have a party. Come on, this is random night. Let's get hit. Come on. <laughs> I love an atmosphere. I love a party with a happy atmosphere. I will take you there. Come on. Mary, come on, Anne. Come on, Mary, it's what you're doing here, though. Oh, shut it, Rab. Oh, jive bunny. <laughs> what? You better get your arse in gear pronto and grab that Southern General Intensive Care Unit. What for? Alice took an overdose. Mary! Mary, come back! Atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks, Peter. Oh, God, wives, what are they like? I mean, they'll do anything to spoil your night, you know? Oh, yeah. <sighs> what a business. What a carry on. Christ, what a, what a life it is all together. Christ, if, it, if the past doesn't get you, the present jumps up and batters you across the napper, you know. It kind of unnerves you, that, so it does. <laughs> it's I keep. I keep glancing at my biological cloak. I think it's about time for my heart attack, you know. <laughs> Evolution. Really with you. I had, I had four brothers that snuffed it, you know. I survived because I was the only one that could understand the claim form for family credit. <laughs> Survival of the fattest kind of style, you know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, what the hell? I shouldn't complain. I shouldn't grumble, should I? Yeah. Be a natural fact, the 90s suit me. I used to be a drunk. Knew I'm a leisure concept. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us leisure concepts in Govan, you know? Big fat bastards in shell suits and trainers. Oh, you've got them in Aberdeen as well, eh? <laughs> you know, <laughs> we extra bit there. <laughs> you, you know the kind I'm talking about, don't you? Lying watching the telly with a fish supper and a six pack balanced on their bellies, you know? <laughs> Look at it. Fine figure of one or two men, eh? <laughs> ah, what, what the hell? I'm happy, you know. I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I say, that in a, I say that in a relative sense, you understand, you know. In a, in a governed sense. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a triumph for the human spirit for us. Just to be able to stagger through an underpass without getting a, an axe in your head and some bastard junkie using your ass as a dartboard, you know. <laughs> Of course, a tune is what you make it, innit, eh, Glasgow? <laughs> Personally, I wish the hell they'd make it Monte Carlo. <laughs> but then again, I suppose we're stuck. Ah, well, forever onward, as they say. Forever onward. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> ah, bless him. <laughs> Come on, you, get hit. Your dad's got to be home any minute. We want to make him feel welcome. Oh, what for? I mean, it's not as if he's liberated Kuwait, is it? He's only been to Kinnan Park. That's not the point. This is a reconciliation. A double reconciliation. A cause for joy and love and celebration. Because four working class tow rags are back together again. <laughs> Hi, Ella. Have you got the love and celebration toast there? Oh. Right here. Thunderbird for us and raspberry cordial for the boys. <laughs> Do you like raspberry cordial, son? I don't know. Put some aspirins in and I'll tell you. <laughs> are you getting to me? Is he getting to me? No, no, no. no. Uh, 
that is just good natured banter, Ella. It's, it's aimed at taking the sting out of a delicate emotional situation. In actual fact, then, he is helping you come to terms with your trauma by ripping a piss at you. <laughs> but that's enough, right? No more. So, fruitcake, Ella. <laughs> hey, stomach pump, Ella. <laughs> That's enough. Stop that now. Stop it. Ella has been through a hard enough time. She needs her sympathy and her understanding. Don't you worry about me, Mary Hen. I can look after myself. Absolutely, darling, absolutely. So if I called in here, Mary, do you want your street jacket on? <laughs> You try to top yourself. I did not try to top myself. It was accidental. What was it, Jamesy? It was accidental. <laughs> exactly. And if I ever catch you dropping as much as one veiled hint to the contrary. <laughs> You better hope there's somebody walking about out there with a bollock donor card. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes very clear. <laughs> Good. Oh, hey, great, Jamesy. Oh, how bloody <laughs> hard. Oh, that's right now. Here, Jamesy, you take that. Now remember, this is his house. I want him to feel that he belongs here. And I don't want anybody saying anything that's going to belittle his confidence, right? All right, all right, hey, keep the heat. I might be shite. <laughs> but I'm old-fashioned shite. <laughs> when shite marries, it marries for life. I want this to work. <clears throat> Hello, Rab. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'll take the There we go. Right, thanks, Ken. <laughs> Welcome back, Rab. Thanks very much, Hell. Hell of a nice to be back, no? All right there, Jimsy. All right, I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rab, no! Just you were spilling my wine, you big idiot. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, Jim. Sorry, sorry, mate. All right there, guys? I am all right there. Hey, need bought it, is it? Oh, Christ, need bought it, is it? Need bought it, is it? One minute, son. Daddy's home. So, yeah? You get my pocket money? Is that it? Oh, you've got to say after all this time, Christ, have you got my pocket money? Oh, look, if it's sent to me you're wanting, why don't you toddle off into the kitchen, put the kettle on and make some tea? You've got guests waiting in you. What did I tell you? All right, sorry, right, sorry. Right. Oh, hon, listen. Look, I brought, I brought you a wee present. What do you see here? Something to remind you of our happy days in Italy together. <laughs> At the World Cup, you remember, eh? Look. It's a wee gondola, you know. <laughs> In the name of God. I thought at least it might be a Ferrari. Is that the best you can do in emotional bribery? Oh, I'm not going to bribe you, it, son. Well, what are you going to do with it, Will? I'm going to shove it up your ass. No, you're not. <laughs> Rob's back. Hello! <laughs>